What are you going to get today, Miss Martha? That's not the question you want to ask. You want to ask, what happened to your hair, Miss Martha? I had dreadlocks for years since before the pandemic started, but I usually, when I'm doing my little cooking videos, just to appear as the, you know, homespun grandma, I just use, you know, my little hair scrunchies on top of my dreadlocks for, for family purposes, and also because it keeps the hair out of the way, and that's hygienic. Now, uh, the purpose of the video today is I'm going to give you a little insight into how Miss Martha's mind works. How do I come up with the recipes that I'm going to cook? I don't just pull something out the page of a cookbook, although I've got tons of cookbooks that I've looked through for years, and I've, I've been cooking for over 60 years now, so, you know, when I'm going to make something, I think about, can I make it healthier? Is it going to be delicious? Will my family love it? How much cleanup is it going to be? How much prep time? How much is it going to cost? Same things that you think of when you're cooking a recipe, but also, are we bored with it? Because like I said, I'm 67 years old cooking the same macaroni and cheese, the same baked beans, the same potato salad for all summer long cookouts and parties and gatherings. It's boring. And I'm anything but basic. So I'm going to be working up recipes this upcoming next video that I will post. And it will be a handheld macaroni and cheese, a handheld baked beans, a handheld potato salad. I'm going to use my little silicone because these are so easy for cleanup. That's the tip for the day. But with my macaroni and cheese, I'm going to basically be using my same recipe. I'm going to add a little bit more jalapeno to it. And I'm going to use the uh, shaking bake, the spicy breadcrumbs for the batter like I'm doing a croquette. Put those in the baking tins. That'll be the individual. For I'm going to use fine low dough. And I'm not using the regular Campbell's uh, pinto uh, baked beans type thing for the base of that. I'm going to be using refried beans, but I'll be adding the same kind of ingredients to make it taste like my regular baked beans. Onions, peppers, bacon, tomato sauce, you know, things like that. And I'll also, uh, on top of them, I will be using a phyllo crust. So that will be a handheld, like a hot pocket or a burrito type thing, but they'll all be the size of like a cupcake. You know, handheld. So then potato salad. How am I going to do my potato salad handheld? I thought about that, and I don't want the regular potatoes will just kind of fall apart and be crumbly. So you know the little Betty Crocker all rotten potatoes that you get off the grocery's aisle. I'm going to use the potatoes out of that, and I'll save the sauce packs for something else. But I'm not going to boil them all the way till done. I'm just going to get a parboiled a little bit. And I'm going to take those out and drain those, and I'm going to layer those in, in within my different kind of sauces that I use for the uh, potato salad. And I will also top that with some breadcrumbs so they'll hold them together and be handheld. So that's what's upcoming for Miss Martha's videos this, this 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 week. I've just got to experiment a little bit with gathering all my ingredients and working a little bit in the kitchen, hit and miss with it. When you're doing something new, I don't really post my blooper reels, but sometimes it just doesn't, it might be tasty, but it might not look, look, look the prettiest in the world. So I'm going to, before I post my video, it's going to be tasty, it's going to be cost efficient, and it's, it's going to look pretty. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you'll like and subscribe for more uh, digital cookbook pages and recipes from Miss Martha. And God bless you and happy summer to you. Be expressive this summer. Enjoy yourself this summer. Do something fun this summer. Grow you some dreadlocks this summer. And God bless.